Alrighty. Okay. Camera seems to be working. Game feed seems to be working. I'll just start my game up from s scratch so you can see the... Deep into that darkness peering. 60 hertz mode, yes please. And how's peering. everyone doing today? Doubting. Hey Kiara, how's it going? more hype than I expected that we finally got a transgender tag. Yep, I'm doing pretty good. Hey Canuda, how's it going? Uh, I spent most of the day um, either getting ready for my stream or uh, working on my uh, tiefling's horn. So I've got the horn, I've coated it in cling film and uh, blanks on the word for a sec there, uh, masking tape. So hopefully um, what I can do is I can just draw a seam line, slice it open, and I'll have the um, heck yeah. Uh, hopefully you can see the tag on my channel down there. Otherwise I wasted a tweet message. Okay, so to reiterate, we last left, um, yeah, basically I found all three of these effigies in the final level. Oh, hey, Nerlis, how's it going? Which I'll need to unlock the, um, final weapon in a puzzle later on. Oh, it's going incoherent screaming, no less. That's not great. Yeah. You wish you had a short sh shift on Wednesday. Now that's a mood. I'm just going to run past it. I'm still off work at the moment, but... Okay, shoot those trappers, lest they trap me. Oh, you're just referencing the vine. Vine. for the pistol. Oh, try to use the axe more. Um Oh actually no, um basically um He's fighting in the Gulf. It's heavily implied he was. Well, it's not. It's outright stated he was fighting in the Gulf War. Okay, I'm nearly out of pistol ammunition. Fantastic. Basically, he's a firefighter who was putting out oil fighters. And then there was an explosion, and. Oh. Okay, I managed to unequip that because I'm a fool. Shirt. A clown. Yep, 
yeah, basically he uh, was putting out an oil fire when him and his team were causing an explosion. I mean, the bass relief depicts a proud warrior. The image is very strong, dominating this part of the room. Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the wall, as if awaiting something. The bass relief depicts a sorcerer casting a spell. There is an air of authority about him, conveyed by his dominating visage. Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the wall, waiting for something. The bass relief depicts a female scholar. Her authoritative glare dominates this part of the room. Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the wall, as if awaiting something. Okay, I'm guessing I either need to place... Yeah, this is where I place the effigies. Okay, so yep, yeah, I guess it's the opposite alignment. Oh wait, I might have messed this up. Friday is your day off, meaning you can raid bisected. Oh, that's me. Oh right, yeah, about Ace Attorney. I completely forgot that, um... I've got my, uh... Okay, that seems to have... ...worked. Yes, that worked. Yeah, basically I've got that uh, programming course I have at the uh, on the last Thursday and Friday of every month. So um, my um, Ace Attorney stream is going to be moved to Saturday this week. So sorry about that. I completely forgot about it. But I will be... Um, Attending my D&D stream as usual. You think out of everything in this game, the thing you hate the most is how they assigned a gender to the ancient Eldritch, formless deities. Yeah. Well, to be fair, they male coded two of them, and the madness coded ones, um... Basically part of her spoopiness, well, her spoopiness is she's more intently, more like she's androgynous. To be honest, I think that makes it even worse. Okay, there's our mysterious stairs. Let's see what's down here. Oh, in the immortal words of Dante, <laughs> a sword. Created on a stone display plinth is an enchanted gladius. Energy rives across its surface, pulsating through the surrounding air. Michael has acquired an enchanted gladius. This gladius carries a powerful enchantment. This unique weapon can only be wielded by its destined owner, the Guardian of Light. Oh, okay. Guess I'm not cool enough to use it. Yeah, true. They go, don't you know, Zell is a woman. It's just that I think it's worse because they sort of give her a sort of a masculine echoey voice and I think that's sort of very much playing into the whole Ooh, scary androgyny thing. In an Oculus panelled wall caps this end of the room. It is conspicuously empty by the comparison to the other walls of the room. Okay. First things first. Hey, Eri Spons. Thanks for the bit. How are you doing today? Oh, 
Oh, thanks for the hydrate, Canuda. And the posture check. We're nearly 15 minutes in, I'm already slouching. Again. Reveal invisible. go elsewhere. Hi Rainbow Mess. Uh, you wonder if I slouch more or less with a horror game compared to normal games. Good question. I, yeah, same cure. I think I slouch whatever. It's just a bad habit. Hi, bye. where the worm was. That's where the effigy was. Streams have definitely been helping you learn to slouch less. Your posture's improved quite a bit. I suppose it was. I mean, it helps I, that I use a webcam, so I kind of have to improve my posture around. But... Oh, I forgot to winch out my pistol. I'm in trouble. And I died. Michael has perished at the hands of the eternal darkness. With none to stop their diabolical plans, humanity will be surely annihilated. I mean, Humanity would have been fine if they were merely nefarious plans, but they just had to go diabolical. R.I.P.D. Yep. Did someone put glass eyes in that skull? Nah, that's just um, an artifact from the fact they started development in the 90s, I'd imagine. So sometimes the odd CGI model looks a bit 90s. Okay. Um, back here. I mean, the main problem in this level is uh, basically that I think his name's Michael. Doesn't have as much magicka as the other characters. So I need to cast this. I'm not even actually sure he can cast some of the um, pool spells. low to even cast most of it, which isn't great, but this time I'm going to enchant my pistol.
out of ammo for the pistol but no matter I have a rifle and an axe possibly to grind the assault rifle, mix, reload, enchant in a bit first, just recover a bit of sanity. And I'm good to go. it when a tiny extra dimensional creature explodes and teleports you to the spook dimension. Oh yeah, since I don't think I ever got the off. If you uh, don't Knock off the head, knock the heads off those particular zombies. They start seeing when they die and explode. Hey Kiara. Okay, Kiara, Kiara. I can get the pronunciation distinguished. How are you doing today? Oh, the corpse was uh, from a previous level set in World War Two. There was basically a puzzle where you actually had to uh, summon one of those little teleporty monsters and teleport the corpse away because it was blocking your door from the other side. Yeah. I was actually kind of surprised, but he's uh, basically stuck around in that. His re well, his remains have stuck around for the entire game. Telefrag. Oh, thanks for the raid, Ch Chiara. What are you playing? Oh, thanks for giving uh, Chiara the shout out, Chiara. I'm just gonna. Use the axe on these zombies. Oh, before I forget.
I'm going to give Kiara a shout out because she won't uh, give herself a shout out otherwise. And if you could give Kanuda a shout out as well. Yeah, so any, uh, any other streamers in the chat? Needs to go back and beat uh, Knights of the Old Republic. You're welcome. Yeah, Knights of the Old Republic is one of those games I hear a lot about, but I never actually got around to playing myself. Maybe I should try that. Okay. Yes, you did keep... Well, um, you're charismatic enough, I'm sure you don't, but... You deserve shout-outs as well. Oh, this is where I was before. You're doing the mobile port. Oh, that sounds neat. Yeah, exactly my thoughts, Canuda. There's a mobile fort, a port. Okay, so I've been this way before. That's where I picked up the effigy. Okay, don't really want to fight this right now. Ow. I'll try and enchant my uh, gun and see what happens. Oh, here it comes. Let's just set this to grenade mode. And I probably shouldn't have done that at point blank range, should I? Definitely didn't, shouldn't have done that at point blank range. I think I might be in trouble. on the Google Play Store, and to be honest, it doesn't port very well regarding controls, so your advice is to wait until it goes on sale. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, Michael doesn't have the magical energy to cast anything. see what the grenade launch reload looks like. No, 
nice. Okay, let's set that back to single shot mode. And try that again. Okay, this is new. Oh, thanks to the hydrate, Nick. Also welcome. And the posture. Oh yeah. You uh, are mine. Oh hey Logic Buster, how's it going? Don't disappoint me now. And yep, the uh, new tanks are alive now. Time, so I've got transgender proudly next to my uh, cosplay I've seen tank. What got represents. You can try to fight me, but in the end you shall succumb to my desires. Child. Wow. Oh, plot twist. Get away from me. Guess it was uh, Pius Augustus pretending to be uh, Alex's grandfather all along. No less, you remember the ports being 15 US dollars and the controls being very clunky. Alright, let's... Whoa. Oh no, I'm stuck. Alright, my sanity and everything else is very, very low. Try level one recovery. No, nope, not enough. Hey, oh, how's it going, Bearer Claire? You hyped for the transgender tag? Okay, magic pool. Ugh. This is so irritating. Yep, spending mana to make mana. It's a whole thing. Okay. Recover. Sanity's a bit low, but I'll be fine. Yes. So, yeah, the nice thing about purple alignment, Mantarok, is basically that it does damage over time. 
So even zombies like this that can revive themselves. Don't stay that uh, don't stay up again for long. Whew. Right. Now I just need to work out what I'm doing. Hey Sonic Secure, how's it Secure, how's it going? I'm not sure I've got the uptime commands running, but um, I've been going for 34 minutes and 41 seconds. Alright, just to give everyone who uh, deserves a shout out a quick shout out. I'm good. Pretty happy I uh, managed to start streaming just in time for to use the um, trans tag. And of course I'm going to be finishing off Eternal Darkness today. And also I spent the morning working on my uh, horn for my thief. Uh, my D&D thief that is. So that's been fun. I don't know if I'll have it ready for Friday, but I might. You never know. Bera Claire wasn't once ordering to get out of bed in my mum voice. Do I have a mum voice? Bera Claire, get out of bed. How's that? Our wife then, just lurking while your kid does bedtime jobs. Oh, all the best to you and your kid, Al. Magic pool. Oh, posture. Makes the posture check. Okay, magic pool. Enchant my gun. But not these guns. Okay, switch to the grenade launcher. What game am I doing after this? Don't know if uh, I said it a minute ago, but you refreshed to see the new tags and got an ad. Oh, I uh, still need to do a poll for that. But I'll be doing my usual uh, Ace Attorney stream. Oh god, I this again. God, it's a horror. I think I managed to shoot myself to death with the grenade launcher. Ooh, the humanity. My big gun is out of magic. Okay, that was embarrassing. been there, Kiara. Fair enough. I can just shoot the Reaper thing in the tail. Can I? You only just realised it was a tail and not a scythe. Okay, 
This time I'm going to be a bit more sensible. Where are you? Okay. Turns out uh, just shooting it a few times in semi-auto mode works just fine. to mess about with dangerous grenades. You thought it was some kind of winged plague doctor carrying a scythe. Yeah, nothing so humanoid. Okay. I'm going to fight... pretty tall, but I think the enemy's heights are randomised. Okay, you have to get to work, Kiara. Oh well. Uh, thanks for dropping by, and I hope your uh, shift goes by quickly. Don't let them grind you down. Monster is rid. Okay, we're rid of that monster rather. Okay, I think this was the area I started in, but I'm going to take a look just to be sure. Yep, this is the area I started in. Oh, don't know if I did anything down here. Okay, nothing this way then. Well, I managed to find the um, secret weapon, so all I have to do is find my way to the end of the level. And we'll be in the final chapter with a cool sword. anything left here. Nope. That was just where I found the uh, staff. Stave. Hey Amanda, how's it going? Solve the puzzle here. Your phone's Wi Fi is fires being mean, chair at and freezing the stream on your end. Uh, you're fairly certain it's on your end though. Okay, Amanda, you're pretty okay. Had your first therapy session today. Oh, that's good. I already thought you had therapy. Ok, 
Okay, can I jump down here? Nope. Our second round. Fair enough. Yep, it's never over till it's over, eh? I really like the way this, um... Any idea we'll be on the pole for the next game? Um... Nothing, um, I mean, I'm open to suggestions either way. But... I might throw in time splitters too, because, you know, that'll save me, uh... Switching up too much, and... Because it's, I've got a GameCube copy. And they've announced a new game in the series, so that might be interesting. I'll probably throw in a few uh, Game Boy Advance games, because I'm feeling in a retro mood. Definitely, um, I'll probably be putting Wildfire on there for the last time. Because I actually want to play that myself, if I don't get to stream it. Logic Buster, you're adding your tags now. Nice. I should really check out, um, obviously for me the big thing was the trans tag, but I kind of want to check out what other tags there are just in case. I mean, the main tags I've been using so far are LGBTQ+, and um, cosplay. But if there's anything else that applies to me, that's probably worth putting on. think, but I'm not certain. That's what I was looking for. You're still scratching your head over women's shirt sizes. <sighs> yeah, that's the pretty much one of the first things I learnt when I came out. Women's shirt sizes have no consistency about them. None whatsoever. Oh, yeah. There's a monster down here. Oh, thanks for the follow, Seam Kane there. You're mildly obsessed with Prey right now, but that'll be if that's not really retro. But, yeah, I might be interested. Especially if I can get a PS4 copy. And how are you doing today, Zoom Kinder? Is that pronouncing it correctly? Or is it more like Suum? Good, just jumping into work. It's some kinda. Oh. Some kinda? Fair enough. Yeah, I tend to have people have trouble pronouncing my hand also. I try to be careful about pronouncing other people's. Ow. Oh. Al, your kid's in bed now. Hopefully she stays there. <laughs> This is correct, each brand of top has its own sizing system half the time. She'll get a reward if she does. <laughs> Bear Claire will bisect my brioche. <laughs> sorry, well, don't be sorry for dadding up the chat. The world needs dads. strange obelisk made from dark granite-like material. It appears to be blocking the way forward, but the obelisk appears to be impervious to all damage. Okay. Maybe that's suggesting I cast Magical Attack. Okay. 
Okay, that symbol is... Paragon. of ideas here. Oh, I know. Maybe if I... Oh, hey Andy, how's it going? Oh, uh, give Andy a shout out since the car is here. Yeah, Andy uh, started streaming recently and they uh, wasn't sure if the chat was going to connect. Wow. Yeah, Andy's recently started as a VTuber, so give them a follow if that's uh, your thing. I think they were streaming Hollow Knight before. Yep, eating lunch, always good. No list, to be honest, the quickest, decently accurate way to sum up Prey 2017 is it's just Bioshock in space, but with um, more of a 2010s user vibe than a 50s-ish theme. Fair enough. Okay, I'm going to summon a trapper. And see if that can teleport away the obelisk. Some kind of adores prey, but it has have more customization progression than Bioshock. But that's a good summary. Oh, excellent. Al says prey is more of a, an immersive sim compared to Bioshock being more of a shooter, shooter with RPG elements. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, Bioshock was literally named after System Shock, but I've heard a lot of people say that Prey is more of a successor to it. Eep. Uh, Bioshock, but make it Metroid. It controls and plays a bit more like Bioshock than anything else, but it reminds you of Metroid Fusion because you're on a space station and the alien enemies have really vague, manable shapes. Oh, so, well, to be fair, Metroid took a lot of inspiration from Alien, so I guess maybe Alien as an immersive sim? So now I sort of played, um, control and that sort of feels like it has the same kind of vibe. Here's Alien Isolation and Immersive Sim. I think Alien Isolation is more of a stealth game with an open map. Okay. Yeah, Kanuda's right. It's a stealth horror game. Magic pool. Also, you have to smash every coffee cup and every office chair because half of them are aliens in disguise. So, very similar to control based on the visual vibes you've seen. 
yeah, Control's more of a straight-up shooter with a psychological horror element to it. And probably the nearest thing we'll get to a triple A um, SCP game. Yeah, I absolutely love Control now. Some kind of those mimics get you every time. Oh, a new scroll. A shrine fashioned from distant interred human remains stands at the far end of the room. Oh, Tumblr's um, necromancy side got out of control again. Resting in the arms of the bone trestle is a scroll of paper covered with arcane scribblings. Michael has acquired the bind spell scroll. This note, I notice scribble on the scroll. It reads, this magic enables the caster to bind a creature with magic, forcing it to ally with them. This spell requires the banter and an air attack runes. Nice. Never know when you want to bind a creature to your will, I guess. Oh, heck. <sighs> well, that was bad timing. There's a grenade that literally reconstitutes, recycles everything in range into a crafting ingredient, including you if you're not careful. Amazing. Deep into that door. Okay. What do you think I saved just when I went down that ladder? Doubting. And while the game's loading again, it's that time again. That's right, Nolus. TSMR. Canuda says you love how Prey does crafting and those grenades are ridiculously fun. To be honest, it sounds kind of like worth trying just for that. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm... What I'm meant to be doing here is, uh using this spell to take control. So I just use magic pull. That make sure I have some ma magic to spare. So I've got backup. You eventually stop checking for mimics and just threw those great grenades into rooms you suspected a mimic was in, and it recycled them. Tss. Yep, some kind of binding ancient horrors to you always seems like a good idea. Never goes wrong. Hmm. Well, you never know. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, make new friends. Let's see if this works. Oh, I guess it. If I force them to kill each other. Okay, 
needs something a bit stronger. Bank rock and our attack runes. So that's protect. I uh, project pr bank rock and our attack. Protect creature. I don't know if uh, binding a creature is protecting it, but okay. Okay, casty cast. And they're dirt cheap when you get the schematics for them. Okay. Well, would it be an immersive sim without, um... A completely broken material. No less. It worked pretty well for Vosuvius. <laughs> nice order of the stick reference. Continuing on the Metroid Fusion train, there's a point where a really scary monster starts hunting you. On and off. Although technically you can kill it. Ah, yep. Always gets me when a game does that. Okay, good. With any luck, this will force the creature, so I will. There we go. I can't drown it. Fight, fight. Fight, 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 fight. Detail. A block of explosives, probably left over from the war. Michael has acquired plastic explosives. Okay, thanks Mysterious for this, I will. Eep. I'm sorry I made you kill your friend. But not that sorry. Okay, just reload. You met one in a similar situation to that one part of the SAX, come to think of it. Or the way they made it work makes you think there might be several different points at which you can meet it for the first time. Fair enough. Yeah, to be fair, it was sort of implied that soldiers had been down here. And there is an ancient god manipulating things, so who knows? Right. In any case, I need to get to that location. An innocuous panelled wall caps this end of the room. It is conspicuously empty by comparison to the other. Okay. Gonna cast magic pool. Spell list. Reveal invisible. Oh, thanks for the host, uh, Kiara, and thanks for the follow, Ard Arcade. I appreciate it. Ah, 
Aha, and there's our door. Wanted to host before you went off for work. Oh. Thank you. I'll have a coral stream and I hope your shift goes smoothly. Yep, I'll just give you one more shout out. Oh, thanks for the hydrate and posture check, Al. Our Darkade, looking for people to follow with the new trans tag. And as you saw, I'm playing your favourite GameCube game, so instant follow. Excellent. Yep, we're just on the penultimate chapter, playing as Michael the Firefighter. Andy, your phone's non-stop buffering. Ah, that sucks, but it's okay. It's not like attendance is mandatory. Thanks for dropping by either way. So, yeah. Uh, for anyone who's uh, watching because of the tag, I'm Bisected Brioche. I stream single-player games mostly. But I also... And I also stream visual novels on Fridays or Saturdays. And occasionally I cosplay. As you can see here, I'm cosplaying... Uh, Alex Royvas. Canuda, attendance is always mandatory. You will be assimilated. Alice, oh, your PC is buffering as well. I'll, I'm just going to check my stream health then. Yeah, apparently, my stream quality is okay. No dropped frames. CPU is fine. Ah, oh, network error. Twitch might be having a bit of a moment then. Ah, we're here again. Designator caps for a C4 plastic explosives. Handle with care. Okay, we'll destroy the hats. That voice is really pushy. Oh, and I'll assume you that's also you who just followed me on uh, Twitter. Darkade. Is Darkade okay, or is there some other variant of your handle you prefer to be called? I'm just going to check the descriptions here. These electronic, uh, sorry, these electric designated caps will transform a package of otherwise safe C4 plastic explosive into a primed bomb. They have a built-in timer set for a maximum time of three minutes. A forms lump of C4 plastic explosives. The destinator simply needs to be added and the charge will explode at a preset time for three minutes. Oh uh, yeah, I suppose it makes sort of sense that he'd know how to use these because he was fire, um, explosives were used to put out oil fires. The C4 satchel and the detonator caps have now been combined into a single unit. It is now a primed bomb. When the bomb is used, Mike will have three minutes to get to safety. Okay, good to know Darkade. Glad to have you here. My shield spell. And run, run, run. This looks like the place. guys again. Okay, guess the switch has already been pulled. For centuries, evil has been channeled through this pit. Countless souls sacrificed to the darkness. Someone must end this madness. 
A bomb placed here would be enough to pull the already collapsing city down into oblivion, destroying everything inside. Okay, good thing we've got a bomb then. No less prayer actually has a bonkers amount of different things going on. Come to think of it, mimics platforming with the glue gun. Also, the looking glass stuff that looks cool. Surprisingly fun zero G parts. Yep, and all quite a long list there. But I guess that's uh, basically the advantage of an immersive sim. Even with all the explosives, there's probably not enough to bring down the city. There must be some way of making it more powerful and increasing its damage potential. No way. This arson is now enchanted. <laughs> yes. I've got a magical bomb. Andy, you don't have any issues at home on your Wi-Fi, but you're on your family's cell network and that might be causing issues. To be fair, I find um, the Twitch app tends to buffer quite a lot, even when I'm on my home with Wi-Fi, so it might just be the mobile app. Okay, let's plant the magical bomb. Oh, okay. Maybe it needs to be uh, even more magical. Or perhaps I'm just not using the right element. Okay. a higher level uh, enchantment. Darkade, you think I'm thinking it right but probably need a bit bigger set spell circle. Ah, oh, fair enough. Okay, I think I have my highest level one hotkeys. <laughs> it's close to the end of lunchtime, so you'll go ahead and head off. Okay, uh, thanks very much for dropping by. I uh, hope you have a nice uh, afternoon. I mean, once again, um, Andy started streaming very recently. Uh, they use a VTube, well, they're a VTuber. So they uh, use, I think it's a cat, uh, yeah, cat person avatar. I think the last thing they were streaming was uh, Hollow Knight. I don't know what else, that sort of, what, if that's the sort of thing they just generally stream or they just try a few different things, but. Yeah. Mark has activated the bomb's timer. The countdown has begun. Almost in answer, a deep low rumbling begins to reverberate through the dungeon. Mark has three minutes to escape the forbidden city and get to safety. Okay, let's get out of here. This has gone very Resident Evil. Okay, I should have cast this before, but... Yep, let's escape the city shattering bomb in three minutes. You can run a long way in three minutes. Ah! Bye. Sorry, no time to talk. I have no idea which way's out.
Okay, this way's out. I'm gonna be okay. A few years later, Hey, it's that guy. Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Well, let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now, but there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck! And well, they didn't actually show him dying, but... Kind of implies he's uh, not expecting to last long. Yeah, thinking about it, apart from Alex, I'm not in top. Well, if she, assuming she survives this chapter, uh, I think the only real person who really survived was the uh, guy in World War One. Yeah, I mean sometimes you blow up a whole city and an ancient being wants revenge, but them's the breaks. Okay, I'm out of sanity. Be honest, I uh, kind of like how, um, basically, as you get to the more and more recent times chapters, more and more characters actually sort of um, don't outright get killed by the evils. Eck! Be gone. Then again, thinking about it, there is a moment. That imply sort of implies that he survived, but we'll get to that in a sec. I think I'm only sort of going off memories from the first time I played it. Oh, thanks for the follow, Geek Productions. So, oh yeah, here we have uh, the main character, who I'm doing my best to cosplay. Hello, congrats on the trans tag, now you can find support awesome trans creators. Yep, you know it. About long, uh, about time really. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was cosplaying Samus Aran um, before when I was um, streaming Metroid Prime, so... Uh, Alex Royvass is literally just her in a tank top instead of the suit, so. Really, it would have made sense. It made sense to give it a try. Reloads. Eleven shells. Better spend them wisely. How are you doing uh, this evening, anyway, Geek Productions?
yep, it's a good sat. Uh, it's a good tag, some kind of. Okay. And presumably that's going into the basement. Yep, from earlier. Could that be? Ah, oh, yeah, this is the moment I um, mentioned earlier. So, a package wrapped in brown paper has been left inside the door. Alex has found a brown paper parcel. Classically wrapped. Not gonna lie, you can't see s some without your brain thinking of it as. Um, you played too much Skyrim. <laughs> a parcel wrapped in plain brown paper. It is not addressed to anyone and appears to be wrapped in a hurry. Well, it's very neatly wrapped either way. There might be something inside. Isn't that the point of a package? Alex has acquired the essence of Ulioth. And Alex has acquired an enchanted gladius. Hey, I have a magical sword. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Al. Everyone's played too much um, Skyrim by this point in time. Okay, it roars when you swing it, as it as you do. With the lid removed, some kind of well-like entrance is revealed. A ladder leads down into the murky darkness. Was this Edward's route into the Guardian City? Should Alex climb down the ladder? Well, like we're getting a choice. So yeah, I think the fact someone dropped off the um, Enchanted Gladius implies that... Michael might have survived. Joe Caps, Joe Craps, fabled magic sword that says "fuck" when you swing it. <laughs> well, to be fair, I think there's a few um, weapons in Borderlands that swear when you're firing them, so it can be done. Alex cannot climb the ladder because the shaft above has been sealed, perhaps by Maximilian Royvas all those years ago. Oh yeah, that explains why the whole thing's been moved. It was even odd whether I've seen crap guys. Yeah, I started watching it when I got back into D&D for 5th edition. As the tome is suggested by Edwards and Maximilian's words, the city exists, and is far more incredible than Alex had thought. Here are the ruins of Enga, the corpse city parasitised by the guardians of Zelotov. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding buildings. It would appear that these towers serve as some kind of focusing array, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. Okay, I swear. Some sort of monster shows up here. Okay, guess I'm just wandering straight in. Oh. <sighs> What's going on here? Do the ancients just urinate all over the place? Dakada, you're in praying as a child and waiting days to enter the city because you were scared. <laughs> You know, oddly enough, um, back in the GameCube era, yeah, basically uh, my childhood fear was literally zombies, but I didn't mind this game so much because the zombies weren't quite as scary. Oh, 
Okay, I have no idea what to do here, and I'm in serious trouble. Alex has perished at the hands of the eternal darkness. With no one to stop their diabolical plans, humanity will be surely annihilated. Or at least forced to wear goatees. Yes, Nolus, electrified P. You loved it, but it's the single game that gave me nightmares ever. Yeah. Basically, um... I'm scared at zombies, but something about the uh, design of the zombies in this game wasn't so scary. So I literally couldn't play Resident Evil Remake. Oh, uh, Joanna says hi. Thanks, Amanda. I hope you're both having a lovely evening. What a shame I can't just sword the yellow. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I think one of the creators actually said that the yellow aligned magic belongs to an ancient who actually sort of um, had some degree of responsibility. So they, the yellow just sort of keeps people out of eldritch areas. And yeah, they're also responsible for, for destroying the um, remains of eldritch monsters, which is why they disappear with the yellow hue. Okay, so I think what I need to do is... Alright, is that just a uh, five? Ah. Banker Rock and Santac. Maybe if I have a... I'll just cast a more powerful shield spell. magic pool to top up and I should be fine. So yep, yeah, welcome to this exciting survival horror game of me running around in a circle. I love the animation here. Just sort of um, 
literally slamming the runes on the ground. Yeah, a, a spell to neutralize magic and I just cast it. Dragonborn. So yeah, uh, Frost Tron on the mountain used to be a big trouble for me, but after I learned Fust Rodar, I had nothing to worry about. Guard, your form, right? Fum, damn... <laughs> Fum him, damn not killed him. Fum right off the mountain. Oh god, that was terrible, Nolus. The podium is heavily damaged, crumbling into rubble and dust. If it is to be used, it must be somehow restored to its former state. Part of the broken pedestal top lies on the floor. Yeah, Vroom. Remind rhymes with Vroom. Yep, time to learn masonry. Okay, is there any more pedestal fragmented? A broken piece of masonry. It appears to be part of the top of a display pedestal. Okay. Mix it up. Enchant. This item has been repaired. Perfect. These plinths look like the ones Pierce had encountered in the Forbidden City where he found the essences of the ancients. Okay, I guess we're putting these here. Because it looks like the area right at the beginning of the game where they were sort of hanging about. And we have power. I guess this is going to be like the um, chapter just before the last one, which I finished on Monday, where I'm going to have to basically cast the uh, spell to... Okay, so I'll... I'm binding Bancorok and Air Attack, and I have to bind the red monster. Long ago, Edward Royvas used the arrays to destroy the denizens of the Guardian City. Alex needs to match the power of the leash and destroy the ancient he plans to bring into this world. Okay, so I need to scissors paper stone the green one with the red one. This looks like a job for a pistol. Reveal invisible. Okay, I'll uh, gossip out. Have a great stream. Oh, thanks for dropping by, Al. I uh, hope you have a lovely evening, and thanks for dropping by. Okay. Oh, 
maybe it needs to be higher level. Perfect. Reminds you of that from Pardon was actually on the TV trips avatar you made back in the day. Well, oh, when you were using a fuzzy white humanoid shape. I remember that one. feature of this oh I was this that wasn't the enchanted gladius no wonder it wasn't working oops okay I'll share it off in the trapper dimension Behold, you can magically throw it. It's the Master Sword and the Boomerang Sword, all in one. What's more, it clones itself. I teleported in the last chapters also up here now. As you do. A strange obelisk made from dark granite-like material. Runes cover its front surfaces implying a mystical origin. A young man's body lies hunched against the wall of the platform. Blood from vicious wounds surrounding his face and neck soaks the remnants of what appears to be a uniform with a sickly dark red. Yep, so basically that guy was from the uh, World War One chapter and I had to teleport him into the dimension, stop him blocking it all. I have no idea why I can't throw this at the trappers. But I guess I'm going to have to use the pistol. Telefrag. Yeah, another cool feature is if uh, something's standing on one of the um, teleporters when you uh, jump into it, it'll uh, literally just slice them to pieces. Well, it'll do the whole doom telefrag thing. Don't 
great. He's harmless now. Okay, this time I'm going to just get the pistol out. You never know when uh, you might need a revolver out. Save just in case the game crashes. And let's get back to that spell casting. Oh, had me worried for a second there. kills me is one thing, but save in case the game crashes is never a good feeling. Yeah, but to be fair, I think it might be because my GameCube's a bit old. Oh, what's going on here? I think I need to do magic. a blue trapper. Aren't they adorable? Oh, into the display case you go, I guess. Give that a moment. Of corpse. but not least. A green horror. For which I need much more magical energy. Oh, 
and I can't save anymore because I've summoned monsters into the area. Your disc for the orange box on the 360 got so worn out you can only play TFT for an hour or less before the HUD textures will stop loading in. And voice lines wouldn't play. Still didn't crash often, though. And apparently one of the Lego Star Wars games crashed a lot. Yeah, fair enough. Well, not fair enough. It's actually quite annoying, but I guess it's a thing. After a horror has been summoned, press A to attack enemies. Attacks can be targeted using R. Attack an enemy's head from the far away to perform a shock attack. Press start to release control of the horror. Horrors can open doors but not pick up items. Okay. Well, in you go. To be fair, um, I think LEGO, the LEGO games actually have quite a bit of processing power because they're basically uh, replicating each individual brick authentically. criticism for this game, it's that the last uh, couple of chapters are kind of a slog really. Could, well, this chapter and the um, anti-penultimate chapter. Because you just have to do this tedious running in circles thing. not to have to keep re-enchanting my weapon. Okay, and I'm here. What's going on here then? I think this is where the uh, worms were. Dwarven crafts, and yep, the trans tag, tag is here. Trans represent. How are you doing today? Okay, so I have to move quietly. Attended a virtual graduation. Was weird. Yeah, that does sound a bit strange. How'd it go? Yeah, 
I'm sneaking past the giant worm. And I didn't have to do this in the previous chapter because the character in question just drank some booze to feel better. It was nice, but with how they didn't even no, the people on camera, it felt like reading the phone book. Yeah, that must be frustrating. Okay, I need to go this way. Yeah, that was a strange place for the camera to go. Made it. I guess it was trying to make it clear that I needed to be uh, somewhere else. Okay, should have just enough shields to get to the end. Ow! Not quite. But close enough. It was 20 minutes of watching the Dean read a list of names. Hmm. Well, better than nothing, I suppose. To be honest, uh, they probably should have just um, let you have your graduation later on. Oh yeah, speaking of which, um, yeah, I've managed to have my uh, vaccination arranged. Although, um, I won't be able to have it until next month. Okay, so I need the red to defeat the green god. Oh, it wasn't your graduation, it was your friend's. Oh, yeah, I think I remember. Can't remember which server it was, but I know it's a server we have in common. Oh, thanks, uh, Darkade. Can't pull that switch. No less. You don't... If not going to a graduation was a thing you could just like do, you probably wouldn't have gone to yours. Oh. So that's what I get for reading chat. Darkade, you hope you can get vaccinated soon. Yeah, I hope you uh, get vac You can arrange yours soon. I literally just had to wait until my age group were up to get vaccinated. Because I'm giving away my age to anyone who knows about UK politics. Should you order a pizza or a Chinese? Oh now that's a hard question. Your age group where you are is getting it in like August. Sad times. Okay, I'm here. And 
people from Craft Sage Group's game in November. Nice. Problem if they'd actually um not abuse patients for the vaccine. No less you're in Florida, and there was a time where you simply couldn't get it scheduled, and then sometimes last sometime last month they started doing a drive-in sort of thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, terrifying, but cool. Gotta love wading through sewage gas. Yep. <sighs> Nothing like a bit of uh, mysterious yellow. Okay, let's see where this takes me. Hey there. Oh. They're invisible. Isn't that fantastic? should be safe. Chinese, if you've got veggie rolls in it, it's probably marginally better for you. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Though I'm sure Twitter will give it a try. Ouch. What's it again? Horrors electrify you, they basically scramble up your controls, which gets me every single time. lots and lots of cheese and if you have sandwiches often those have cheese your folks eat lots of cheese up to and including corn chips and potato chips and you're probably projecting oh fair enough
these have we got left? Oh good, just three of them. I kind of feel like they had a really interesting idea for a magic system, but... Okay, what do we do here then? interesting magic system but they weren't sure what to do with the higher spell circles so they just threw in the um, paragon runes. So green defeats blue. And okay, I guess it needs to be a high level magical attack, because of course. Unless I'm supposed to be using a hot um a trapper to banish it. Green Trapper. Tear Parrot Ah, oh, maybe that is it. Oh, maybe not. I guess it's a high level of magical attack then. Yes, that worked. Personally, I tend to find pizza feels a bit more healthy because it's mostly carbohydrates, whereas Chinese is more f fried food. But to be honest, I, f I don't think takeaways really universally good or bad for you. Okay, I guess I just needed that one spell. Okay, 
going to be enough shields to make it to the end of the corridor, so I'm just going to cast that shield spell again. And we're at the two hour mark. So what I'll just do is I'll run back to the array room. And I'm just going to grab myself another cup of tea for, to finish the stream. So I'll be back in like I don't know, five or ten minutes. And so hang tight and see you all in a bit.
And some back. Okay, I've got a full mug of tea. Bean to the loo. Let's do this. Oh, and if I've, um, yeah, make sure you obviously all of you are standing up, walking around a bit, do some stretches. And uh, that tank top really suits me. Oh, thank you. I did actually, um, yeah, it took me ages to actually find just a plain black tank top, but I actually like this enough that I went and bought uh, the same brand but in uh, navy. Okay. Can't prove nothing from, nothing from way over there. Can't prove you ain't. I'm going to assume that's song lyrics, but I'm not familiar. Okay, so I'm trying to cast Bind. So that's Banterock and our attack. Oh, hey, uh, JTTG. How's it going? Thanks for the raise. JTTG is pretty cool to follow. <laughs> what do I like on my brioche? I am my brioche. And I like more brioche. Also cosplay. Completely forgot what I was going for now. Yeah. Also this tank top because it makes me look kind of cute. How was, um, It Takes Two? Oh yeah, you are playing that with your partner, weren't you? Yep, this is the advanced PS5 game Eternal Darkness. Reve released on the Sony GameCube. Oh yep, um, for everyone who has uh, just come through on the raid, I'm Bisected Brioche. I typically stream playthroughs of single player games. I also do visual novels on Fridays and Saturdays, mostly on Fridays, but once a month on Saturdays, just so I can uh, practice my voice a bit while doing silly voices a bit. Uh, I often like to cosplay, so can't actually see her at the moment. I don't know, does it let you... No, it doesn't. But I'm cosplaying Alex Royvast, the main character of Eternal Darkness here. As I like to keep saying, uh, this is Eternal Darkness for the Nintendo GameCube, the first ever mature rated title Nintendo published, and also the first title they published after Iwata became president. Okay, GTTG. Take, it takes two, continues to be excellent fun, if a little cringe at times, but it's worth it. Excellent. Because I know the uh, company who are, uh, well, the Devs who uh, made it like to do multiplayer games because they did um, Tale of Two Brother uh, Brothers or whatever it was, and that one with the convicts, Air Attack. I guess, oh yeah, I'm summoning, aren't I? So, yep, you've caught me uh, just summoning an ancient eldritch monster to attack another ancient eldritch monster that the main villain's trying to summon. Which, when you think about it, it's very rude. A huge stone block etched with bizarre etchings dominates the room. Is it art? A memorial? A tomb of the original inhabitants? or a bastardised interment of its lobes and conquerors. Okay. 
Yep, just like Pokemon. It's uh it's the system. Okay, so uh red is health or vitality, blue is magic mind or magic, and green is um madness. Not as in green is madness, it is literally the element of madness. It's madness, I tell you, madness. So, um, blue is weak to green because insanity overcomes the mind. Green is weak to red because physical might doesn't, can't be driven insane. And, okay, needs to dispel the green. Uh, Blue overcomes red because magic is more powerful than the mind, I, uh, body, I guess. Spell list. Dispel magic. Summon nature and horror to deal with another. Sounds like a Wednesday night. Yep. Oh, you know, it's just politics, really. Just need to let my magic recharge so I can summon more, summon a new shield to run down this corridor of um, magical pee. Yeah, psychic fighting versus dark is about right. Oh, thanks for the follow, DJ Nerd. Do you prefer DJ, DJ Nerd in full or is just Nerd okay? Everyone calls you DJ. Okay, DJ it is then DJ. Hey DJ, gonna burn this goddamn city right down. Switch on the last array. I think, hopefully, this should be the uh, final boss battle coming up soon. Yep. There's that summoning circle complete. We are now casting a city sized spell. You know, just like the plot of the Metal Alchemist. Oh, what's going on here then? Oh yeah, I know what I need to do here. Bind, red aligned, and that will force one of the green ones to fight for me. I'm just going to throw my sword at the last one because I can do that. basically the um, enchanted gladius which is the game's secret weapon which you have to go through lots of nonsense to get and you only get to use it in the last level because of course Again, just in case I need to reload them. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a good game, but uh, basically at this point it sort of goes from um, a thrilling survival horror game to a slog. monster into this world to fight another ancient monster. Just gonna top up my health. I'm going to cast magic pool highest level with mantra of alignment. Because that'll uh, recharge everything slowly. Okay, Kanuda, you like the way they handled the timeline of this. It's an ancient prophecy put into place millennia ago by ancient deities. And yet all this time, humans have been building each other up, discovering the plot, and working as individuals to put an end to it. Most of the time without even realising they are working together. Yeah, it's more of a sort of a soft Lovecraft feel. You know, just the whole uh, humanity working together overcomes it. Okay, let's see what happens. Before I proceed, would I like to save my progress? Okay. Well, here it goes. The final boss battle. Just in time, the summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my Lady Zelotov. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, pious. The human race oh, yep. will never Our protagonist here is voiced by Jennifer Hale, who also voiced, for, well, provides the grunts for Samus Aran in you. Metroid Prime. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the ancient's essences. Now, Pius, Another nice, interesting piece of trivia. End. Apparently, this cutscene can be heard in the background <laughs> the in um, an, Adam Sand an Adam Sandler movie. And I think that's the most horrifying of all, eh? DJ, when you play the Call of Cthulhu's TTRPG, you always play with the aim to dial go insane, given to the inevitability. Yeah. So the nice thing about this boss battle is you get this cool CGI cutscene of the monsters fighting each other as you progress through it. So here's the one I summoned. That's right, crab battle. It's some kind of cave demon. Zelotop was always your fave, Darkade. Yeah, she is pretty cool. Hashtag girl boss. Yep, Nolis, time for crab. Hey, Pierce, catch. He's slowly, slowly strolling towards me. And 
First player character we uh, played as, so guess she's drop it, no, jumpy in. Man, I forgot how fast she was compared to everyone else. Quickly heal. Okay. Oh, now I'm this guy from the next chapter. I guess I need to avoid getting hit. Excuse you, Kanuda, he prefers to be called a leash. Ah, Kareem, the snarkiest of all the characters in this game. such a long wind up. Here we go. Round one. <laughs> what will the power of madness do against an angry crab? favourite chubby scholar. Mm. 
Yeah, good old Maxi. Maximilian Voivats. They called him crazy for murdering his servants. Feels right. Also, what Ellen Musk thinks. Yeah, basically you have to score one hit on um yes or Augustus. Go out and get some hit yourself. And then attack the Nope. Gotcha. Yeah, he was kind of crazy by that point, but you know. Sometimes you just go crazy and murder your hard help. Yep, priest man. I, I forget what happened to him again. Oh yeah, he got his head exploded. Business that. Come on. There we go. Here comes the electric zone. And this is. Oh, the scholar guy. Nice fast, a uh, nice fast saber. Lovely stuff. And broken. Meanwhile, <laughs> guess he's too dumb to fall. Shield anymore. Magic, full level. Yeah, he's limping a bit. Fancy that. And slam. Ouch, you got me again. Yep. Need some 
help walk in there. She just got mead. Really though, Shattergrad just hates to see a girl boss win. The darkness is not so easily destroyed. No, my death is just the beginning. Nice try. See, that's the problem. Sometimes your staff just turn on you. All right. What and we I just uh, summoned the giant ancient godlike being anyway. Didn't think that through, did she? Quickly, Alex! We must find this creature! It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe! What um, the bind spell was. Project. Protect, that was it. Ah, that's the ticket. Yeah, the bind spell is pr uh, protect a creature. Which is an odd way of putting it, but, you know. It's here. Thanks for the help. Yep, Demon Shibbery. It is finally over, my dear. The Ancients' plans are finished. For now, at now least, forever, because there was never a you sequel. You have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you. Her mother and father Shazai. still never actually appear. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there was so little time. And so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. It's abjuration, which is either protecting the target or protecting from the target. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Into this world to stop Pius. I'm not sure I can repeat clear. that. Cthulhu. This could <laughs> oh, yeah. The world to Cthulhu, King of Pride. As as Pius would have. And yet, as quickly as it began, it ended. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of She's saying the words from the beginning of the game. see those who dwell behind. I was once a fool. And that was Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Oh yep, here come the credits. You've overcome the darkness that has prevailed for over two millennia. This accomplishment will begin a new era for humanity. Now, now, would you like to record this grand occasion in the pages of human history? Yeah, for those who don't know, that if you complete the game three times, oh, 
in memory of Ben Dyack, 1920 to 2000. Ah. Oh. Dennis Dyack, I believe, was the uh, head of the studio, a uh, Silicon Knights. He apparently, uh, yeah, he actually tried to kickstart a sequel. But I think uh, T Human basically um, destroyed any goodwill they had. So yeah, basically, if you complete the game another two times, picking each artifact. Each artifact you unlock the final ending, and also um, eternal mode, which is basically just god mode. But that kind of makes the game boring because you don't get any sanity effects. I don't think I'll be doing that, but I think uh, what I can do is a uh, well. I'm sure you can just look up the um, secret ending on YouTube. It's just a short cutscene. But yep, yeah, when these credits are finished, I'll uh, just uh, find someone to raid. But I'll stop talking over them. How would everyone like this game? Luther, monk supervisor. Kim may guest as Elia and Zelatov. Oh, that's interesting. Didn't realise they shared a voice actress. Oh, glad you liked them, Amanda. And it's not your bag, Nolas, but it's always fun watching someone relive their nostalgia, of which I had plenty. Oh yeah, I think they, uh, Zelatov had uh, multiple voice actresses credited, so I guess that's how they got the echo. stream but my uh, horn for my uh, grounded cosplay that's my D&D &D character from the Guild of Icon streams on Fridays so, yeah that'll basically just fit um, something like this and I've, what I've done is I've created the um, overall shape out of uh, tin foil and duct tape and I've just gone over it with, um, you can just about see there, uh, cling film, or sarin wrap, uh, as they call it in some next to the wood, and uh, masking tape. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just draw a line, cut the line, and hopefully I should uh, have a few pieces I can just cut out of craft foam and glue into two foam horns. Fun, fun, fun. Well, anyway, uh, that was Eternal Darkness. Shut down my GameCube for the evening. Head 
headphones on. So, shall we find someone to raid? That was a rhetorical question. We're going to find someone to raid. So, yep, shout out to everyone who's been uh, calling for a trans tag. It's, it's amazing that we finally have one. Uh, think Ridley's streaming right now. And more to the point, he's streaming Metroid Prime, so I have to be there. Because uh, failing to raid a Metroid stream violates my code of honour. He's still live. So, yep, yeah, we're going to be raiding uh, 8 bit goggles, aka Ridley, streaming Metroid Prime. He, yep, yeah, he's still live. Alrighty, let's get on the raid train. Please keep your valu valuables secure in the overhead bins. Do not stick any limbs outside the passenger compartments. And what's the point? Make sure you type raid in capital letters when we get there. So to recap, um, my uh, Ace Attorney stream will be Saturday this week because I've got a... Um, programming course I'm on but I'll still be um, on Nick's channel I'll give him a shout out just so you know to follow him playing D&D if anyone's interested there uh, but yep the Ace Attorney, St uh, Ace Attorney stream will be on Saturday I'll throw up a poll on Twitch, no sorry, a poll on Twitter to decide what I stream next. There might be some more GameCube games, probably some Game Boy Advance games and a few indie titles. Maybe some PS, more recent PS4 titles. But with that, uh, you're about to head off, so see you in 3, 2, 1 and have a nice night. Wait, no, I don't want to go this way. I don't think, anyway, because that's... Yeah, that's...